Are you an Avenger fan? Well, when Infinity War ended up with a cataclysmic cliffhanger, your mind would have been filled with questions about what would have happened in Avengers Endgame. The fan theories were flying as the world prepared for Avengers Endgame. Now that Endgame has finally reached the audience, all and sundry wanted to see how these theories were. Whether it was accurate or was just crazy or madcap, some of the views have actually made a lot of sense. The final dinner threw a lot of surprise at aficionados and floated many expectations. Hey there cinephiles, here to look for the next best movies to watch or to know amazing things about your favorite movies? Well then, you're in the right place. Welcome to Pop Z, where you can find all the cinematic details you need. Today we have our picks for the Top 10 Avengers Endgame fan theories that was wrong. But before that, make sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Make sure to stay till the end to know our take on your favorite movies. But to the filmmaker's credit, there were many odds and sods we didn't guess right enough. Here we have managed to gather up a few of the best fan theories for Avengers Endgame that comes out not as voracious. 10. Thanos was already dead. At the end of Infinity War, the snap at the end, Thanos was found to have been permanently damaged by his destructive fingers. And in the trailer for Endgame, Thanos was seen as living a calm and tranquil life of solitude as a farmer. As it did with Iron Man fans, though, that snap killed him. The Iron Man actually dispersed inside the Soul Stone to live up a graceful, orange-tinted afterlife for the rest of eternity. Absolutely insane theory. It was actually not a great astonishment when it turned out to be untrue. So, for that reason, we keep this in number 10. Furthermore, it would have been a little bitter if the Avengers failed to give an exact tit Thanos stat. 9. Dusted characters were transported to the Soul World Actually, a major part of fans' minds revolved around all those characters who turned to dust at the end of Infinity War. It wasn't like they actually died they turned to dust. It was totally unexplained. So, there were a lot of theories. It's no secret that comic book characters rarely stay dead. Fans had created their own theories that everyone would return by the endgame's conclusion when Thanos snapped half of life in the universe. One of the most popular theories is that all the dusted heroes are actually in the Soul Stone, and most fans figured out the endgame is all about trying to find a way to bring the dusted back to life. But in the final film, Soul World would not play a notable role at all. The fallen heroes were killed until they were brought back with the Avengers Gauntlet. For the fallen, it was like an instant. They ceased to exist, and then they came back into existence. 8. Red Skull is free The biggest surprise in the Infinity War was the introduction of the Red Skull. But this iconic villain had not been pop up since Captain America the First Avenger, so it was the time for him to show up as the Keeper of the Soul Stone. The fan series were piled up when the filmmakers confirmed that if Thanos gained the stone, Red Skull was not anymore a slave to it and could leave Vormir. Most of the fans actually confirmed Red Skull actually popped up in the endgame, either going after Captain America or seeking the stones himself. Even though he appeared in the follow-up, but it was as the Stone Keeper in a past timeline. 7. Death Makes Her Appearance In the Marvel comics, Thanos' reign of terror is associated with Lady Death. The character is a cosmic entity that is based on the personification of Death. Thanos, the supervillain, tugged out half the universe to impress Lady Death, whom he loves in the Infinity Gauntlet comic series. He is crazy in love with her. Infinity War came up with a more complex and more interesting motivation for Thanos' actions. Fans literally couldn't stop from thinking Lady Death might show up as a puppet master figure for Thanos. There were also some speculations that Hela might fill the role. Gratefully, the movie sticks on with Thanos' more complex motivations. 6. That Ant-Man Theory Actually, fans of the Avengers are very creative with their philosophy. In reality, it doesn't matter how outlandish an idea might seem. If enough people support it, it can really take off. This was the case when it was speculated that Ant-Man might single-handedly defeat Thanos. The fans even opined that Ant-Man would squeeze down and insert himself in Thanos' butt and then expand and hypothetically kill the Mad Titan. Surprisingly to some, the scriptwriters of course can't choose to conclude their infinity love tale by framing one of their heroes combat the villain's butt. That would be just… awkward, right? 
5. Nebula grabs the gauntlet Nebula had a notable role in Endgame. Nebula managed to survive Thanos' snap after years of abuse at the hands of her father. The fans speculated that it means she could help seek revenge on him. Some fans even thought Nebula would be set to follow her comic book art and swing the Infinity Gauntlet herself after managing to take it from Thanos. But it turns out that in the film, Nebula comes out to have a much more complex role. She didn't get to wear the gauntlet. We also further explored her tortured mind as the new heroic Nebula meets a past version of herself. This past version is also still brainwashed by Thanos. These emotional scenes played by Nebula is one of the best character moments to date. 4. Thanos would have a change of heart Fans thought that Thanos would end up being a sympathetic villain. He was a madman with no problem killing. In his twisted mind, fans thought that he was actually saving the universe. Some of you have thought we could see Thanos determine the arrows of his ways and support the heroes undo the snap. But in reality, Thanos went quite the opposite direction in Endgame. He decides to take it further instead of bringing it back. He wipes out everything and starts from scratch. To be honest, Thanos as a hero is just not as interesting. 3. Thanos may not be the actual villain Many fans claim that there could be a bigger threat than Thanos. The theory went that he would be killed in the first 20 minutes, and the snap could create an opportunity for a bigger threat than Thanos to emerge. Fans thought that the heroes would work with the Mad Titan to bring back the Fallen to save the universe. In contrast, the Mad Titan was killed in the first 20 minutes. Some fans expected a compelling character like Death or Galactus would show up and make Thanos seem like a petty small antagonist. The theory wasn't completely wrong. In the end, a much bigger threat emerged in Marvel, but it was actually Thanos himself. 2. The New Avengers are formed Everyone fairly and squarely knew that the credits rolled on Endgame by the time the Marvel Cinematic Universe would give them something very different. Most of the fans were pretty sure we'd have to bid a farewell to their favorite heroes. Fans speculated that this would eventually give rise to a whole new team. But the theory was actually logical enough. The original Avengers team was done in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Iron Man and Black Widow are already dead. Hawkeye and also Captain America are retired, while Hulk seems to be a question mark. Thor has already joined the Guardians. Even though these changes were substantial, the film had not attempted to bring up a new squad. Marvel Cinematic Universe will focus on solo adventures until the Avengers must assemble yet again. 1. Captain America does not survive Ever since Chris Evans posted on social media in October that he was hanging up the shield, every Marvel Cinematic Universe fan assumed that he would part ways with the character of Steve Rogers. Evans' contract was up and the Avengers were all set in making their last stand against their most dangerous foe. Even though he did get battered, deteriorated, and even bloodied in the final battle, his shield was actually torn in half as Age of Fortune foretold. He didn't actually die in the movie. Rather, he got a pretty sweet experience. He could actually travel back in time and settle stuff with Peggy and live a simple married life in suburbia. Still, he's super old. He could probably die soon. Don't get nervous if you're a diehard fan of Captain America. Fans have created some incredible theories ahead of Avengers Endgame. In the end, these theories ended up not coming true. Did you believe any of these theories? What is the theory you desire to see on the screen? Well, we only have that fellow feeling to you guys. Which fan are you in the Avengers? I'm surely a fan of Iron Man. Pen down your favorite hero. We would love to hear that. And before you move for that, don't forget to hit that, uh, well don't be that aggressive like Thanos, so gently tap the thumbs up button. Stay awesome till we meet again.